next story of the week. Here we go. You can do it, Curious George. I love my Curious George stories. This is George. He was a good little monkey and always very curious. George loved going to the museum with his friend. While they were visiting the museum, they saw a sign. The sign said that the museum had won a prize. People voted this museum as their favorite. They said this museum was the best. When George saw the sign, he started to think, what could he do best? He decided to find out. You can do it, George, said the man with the yellow hat. George went back home. He was good at drawing dinosaurs. Maybe he could draw the best dinosaur picture ever. George decided that he liked to draw, but he wanted to do something different. He climbed out the window to look for ideas. Soon George came to a restaurant. That gave him a great idea. George loves spaghetti. He decided he would make the best spaghetti ever. You can do it, George. Look at all that spaghetti. George thought it tasted great. He tasted more and more of it and made a big mess. Then the chef came in. Get out, he shouted, out of my kitchen. George was going to have to find something else he did best. George needed another idea. He got on a bus to think. The bus took him to the ski slope. That gave George an idea. He grabbed the biggest sled he could find. Maybe he could sled down the hill faster than anyone ever had before. You can do it, George. At first, sledding was fun. Then George started going too fast. Look out, George. George was going to have to find something else he did best. George needed another idea. Then he remembered something he did better than anyone. He rushed back home. When he got there, he took out his kite. He was going to be the best kite flyer ever. George got his kite to go higher and higher. You can do it, George. Then the kite lifted George right off the ground. Look out below. Oh no, it's flying away. George landed in a tree in the forest. His kite flew away without him. George was going to have to find something else he did best. Just then, George spotted smoke. Oh no, it was a forest fire. George wanted to warn everybody about the fire. He raced to town and found the fire station. The firefighters quickly put out the fire. Phew! By now the sun was setting. It was too late for George to figure out what he did best. George's friend met him back at the museum. The director had heard that George warned everyone about the forest fire. She thought that was the best thing anyone had done in a long time. George did it! Hooray! He found out what he can do best. He is the best helper. George got a very special prize that day. All right, let's get started with our work.